Hello everybody, this is Laura from Laura's Crafts and Art Ideas. Here we have another uh, Valentine's card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a white cardstock or one of the cards that you already buy, you know, blank. Sorry. And this one is six, six and a half by five. So I'm gonna round the corners of this card. This just here. Four corners. under the four corners just to have something a little bit different all right so we have this here we're going to use another car stock uh, i'm using this kind of peach color pink uh, if you can see it uh, the true color there and this is half an inch less uh, shorter an inch size than the other so this one is six by four and a half this one too i'm going to round the corners this is just regular cardstock. I, I think this is from one of those bags and recollections. But all right, four corners. It's gonna go there, and we're gonna use this one here. I already cut it. This one is from. This one, uh, yeah, I bought it in clearance at Joann's, I think, but you, I, I'm pretty sure you might find it online if you don't find it at Joann's. Uh, it's pretty nice. Wait. Cute papers. So I already cut this one, and this is five by four. Let's round the corners of this one too. This is how this goes. This one is gonna open this way. So we're gonna place it here and here. Right? Alright, and we're gonna use this uh, my little shoe box stamp. Pretty nice with free girls. And this stands from Inca Dinka Doe. And we're gonna be using we'll be using the you'll always be my best friend, you know too much. Alright, I already set it here. We're gonna stamp it in a white card stuck. This a white piece of paper. And I'm gonna try to cut it this measure of this one. This is you know, you can see it here. So that it you know, perfect. Probably a little bit more because this is too close to the edge. So, and you stamp and then cut, but this is four by three and, th and two and three quarters of an inch. So, I think I'm gonna four and one quarter of an inch and leave the two and three quarter of an inch. So, that's when we cut it. So, let's start stamping and then we'll color this. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I know if you're worried about like the dress that it's not completely, just grab a pencil and uh, a color pencil, which is what I'm gonna do. And I 
Okay, come on. Yeah. Okay, look. We have less space, so. So I'm going to. Let's see here. Really light, so it looks similar to the ink. Or to do it harder. Ah, uh, there we go. And I'm going to add some color to this, so let's see. All right. Oh, so pretty. We have it. Now let me round the corners. Let's see if this is going to be. Yeah. Perfect. Then I'm going to take some uh, chalk ink. Some chalk ink, right? This is my shock. Yeah, it's my shock. And I'm taking this blue that is uh, what's it called? This blue lagoon. You can use your distress ink. This works fine. The blue one, the broken china. I love it. Just going with blue there. So you have a lot of pink here. And just doing the borders so it doesn't look that bad of white Oops. doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over it's okay that you can make it on purpose I love this chalk uh, inks because you can mix the colors and oh, I love them. Just you can do so many great things. All right, that's enough of that. So make sure this is what we have, right? And I was thinking, I when I was planning this, I did it before off camera. I just got some Prima flowers and put it together with the colors, Colissima colors and a brad and I just put some stickles on, on it just to give some sparkle. So this is gonna go here. But we need to attack this first. And probably we can also do like a ribbon here or ooh and here. Let's see. Finally, there you had it. Have it. Um, you can stamp something else if you want inside, or just leave it like that, or add like a, another piece of color uh, cardstock, like a light blue or something right in there. But this is so far as I'm gonna go. Hope you like it, and 
enjoy it and give it a try. It's really nice. So, okay. thanks for watching. Bye bye.